Hey, yo, do not attempt to adjust your dial. Bum, 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 bum. It's your boy Big Vern. This is App Stupid, the fastest growing sports and entertainment show on these YouTube streets. You're welcome. Holla. Your boy Big Vern doing his thing as always. So, if you're just joining us for the first time at App Stupid, welcome. Make sure you smash the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel, goes a long way, and we appreciate it. Appreciate you. So, we talked some Oregon football. Are you sold on Oregon? I don't know. They didn't look really dominant. And then versus Boise State, they got gashed. They got gashed. I mean, that run game was insane. And that's problematic when you're in the Big Ten a conference where they run the ball down your throat once they figure it out that you can't stop it. Gonna wait and see, gonna reserve judgment. But then before that, we talked about the California Golden Bears in the ACC, one of the most dangerous teams. When they went into Auburn and beat Auburn and made them look horrendous, I don't know why that didn't get more press. However, going from the Big Ten, and we're going to go to the ACC. Going to talk some Syracuse football. And I asked this question, and it's not trying to shit on the Orange Men or anything like that, but, you know, how good are they? Because they have Kyle McCord, and Kyle McCord is, the he was the quarterback at he was the quarterback at Ohio State. And when he couldn't beat Michigan and they couldn't go to the college championship, there's a lot of pressure to play in Columbus. I'm not going to act like there's not. And for people who haven't been to Columbus, the entire town shuts down when Ohio State is playing football. There is nobody at the mall. There is nobody even at fast food joints. If you don't have like a bar and grill set up or a Buffalo Wild Wings or somewhere where you can watch a game and a TV, you're not getting any patronage. That's just how that is. I mean, it's it's astonishing to see a city stand still once the Buckeyes are playing. When the Buckeyes stop, that's when time catches back up. People start moving around and things like that. But for that two hours, the, the city is in a standstill. So, I said all that to say this. When it comes to Kyle McCord being in a... He's in an environment that is not as competitive. I think he will flourish. And it's weird that Syracuse could be looked at as a season spoiler for so many ACC teams. And I'll explain what that means when we come back from a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show. This is Big Vern. Drop the spot. <laughs> Yes, McDonald's. Download the app, order online, or visit the good folks at your local McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. So, when we last left off, we were talking about the Syracuse Orangemen being um, spoilers in the ACC. And when you look at having a spoiler history, Fran Brown, he's got to look at some things on the schedule for them because, I mean, they beat Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech puts up a lot of points. Anybody Georgia Tech plays, you better be able to outscore them. And it so happens that Syracuse was that team. But they play Stanford. That's a game of two unknowns. Holy Cross. Yep. Not going to sit here and act like that's a good one. UNLV. 
NC State. They will lose to NC State. They will lose to Pitt because Pitt is a rough and scrappy team. And Pittsburgh, they can make it ugly on the ground. They can keep this thing in between that 21 to 14 era. So, you don't, like I said, Pittsburgh is, and it's in Pitt, and it's the night game in October. It starts to get a little cold then, so it's not a dome. Then they get Virginia Tech. They can win that. Boston College, they can beat Boston College. They can beat Boston College. And you all know my disgust and disdain for Bill O'Brien. <laughs> running the Patriot scam and now people are starting to run the New England Patriot scam on folks and the Alabama scam as well or, oh I coached under Nick Saban you're still garbage anyway Cal Cal will beat Syracuse UConn not gonna happen then Miami Miami will beat Syracuse as well but I like what I see from the Orange Men. And they're not a top-tier team in the ACC. That would be dishonest. That would be somebody being solely goofy how this thing is going to shake out. However, they are good enough to upset someone. And if there's going to be an upset, it's going to be between Pitt and NC State or Boston College. It may be a season spoiler for those guys. Again, on this schedule, there's no Clemson. There's no Louisville. Miami is a team that a lot of these teams have commonality with. And so you're going to go ahead and see really quick the testing of Miami. Louisville is not on a lot of these people's schedule as well. Uh, Clemson has them, FSU has them, Miami has them, you know, and we're talking about the ACC. They're not going to play the Dukes of the world. Why would they? They don't get North Carolina. Who cares? But some of these teams, they have to keep their eye on. They get Pitt, and, I, and like I said, Louisville could be a lock for the championship game on one side of the ACC bracket. So it's something to keep your eye on. But if you're going to say Syracuse is one of those C-tier teams in the ACC, that's fair. I'll go along with that. But I tell you who won't, the good people of Syracuse, Syracuse, let me know. Are you all real deal or is this just a waste of time? This is your boy, Big Vern. I'll be back 